Fire signs, my fire signs. Are you needing to dry your eyes? Welcome for the second reading. This is going to be a monthly reading here on Moonwa.co. If you are tuning in through my channel, Divinely Danica, then welcome. You are also going to benefit from this reading. Should you be a fire sign in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, meaning that if you have Sagittarius, Leo, or how am I forgetting the other fire sign? Aries. Oof. <laughs> Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Okay, so Aries might be feeling a little bit more drifty for the next month. This reading is going to be pertinent to you. Leading up to a month after when you've seen it. That is what I'm manifesting. I want... I want this reading to be pertinent for you leading up to a month after when you've seen it. My fire signs, you guys are getting something a little bit more different than from what the earth signs got. I just did a reading for earth signs. It's going to be a sign for every element every month here on Moonwood Co. Viewable as well on my channel Divinely Danica where I do readings, pick a cards, and as well where I give information um, pertaining to where you can book me for personal readings. You can reach out to me by DM or by email on information down below. And when I talk about gemstones, it is because I am passionate about them and I happen to sell them online on www.bgems.ca I love to share stones with people as well as knowledge that's pertaining to how they help us to holistically ascend. Fire signs is a lot of spit coming out of my mouth to you guys. So I'm just going to like cool my face down with some rose water. Maybe some fire signs need to show themselves a bit of love this month. And you need to slow it down. Okay. So fire signs. Time for a little spit of the runic wheel. Bit of a feeble spin there. It landed on year and then I moved it and it moved to you. So it fell on these two runes, year and you. Yera and a was. Yera and I was. Okay. Yera. Reward, harvest, maturity, improvement, profit. A was endings, trials, closure, endurance, returns. Okay. So well, how I'm seeing it is that for the fire signs, things were like going up and then things took a turn. There are tests going on right now. You're almost being tested in your heart center. So I'm going to start off by giving some gemstone recommendations for my fire signs. These stones are mostly not on my website. So, oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Just this one do I not have on my website. This is Bloodstone. Bloodstone is an amazing stone to work with to overcome trauma, grief, and to purify your blood. I will have a beautiful shipment of Ocean Jaspers coming in, Ocean Jasper Hearts, and this is my personal one that was gifted to me for my order. It went flying, okay. These are very volatile with the fire signs. And then I've got this black moonstone that I actually do have pieces of this on my website included in like the sacral chakra healing set. Um, dark moonstone can come in an array of shades and can look a lot of different ways. So the, the other kind of moonstone I have on the website looks like this. And, you know, if you order with me, you could also land on Moonstone that looks like this or this. Darker Moonstone. Ready? Moonstone's a great manifestation stone. So maybe some fire signs here are trying to manifest something different. Okay, I am being called to the Divine Feminine Oracle 
deck to bring some guidance regarding business, energy, alignment, and overall health and well-being to my fire signs. So if you don't know what moonwood.co is, it is a platform designed by a beautiful and lovely, completely empathic uh, Gemini who is looking to help people who are mind, body, and spirit conscious get to their goals as quickly as possible. You guys got Isis. I just spoke of manifestation and you guys got the goddess of magic. Sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. Ooh, so year, year was end. Sexual energy, the goddess of magic coming back to life. Okay, well, we did talk about endings and closures, right, with fire signs earlier on. So, um... Look into sex magic is what I'm hearing. Okay, now I get it. I wanted to pick from the uh, sexual magic tarot from the start, and they told me, no, spin the wheel first, and then you're going to pick a card. So here we go, picking from the sexual magic tarot. I actually have a review of this entire deck on my channel, and it's very funny because the cards are very explicit. Very fire energy shit. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You guys got two cards. One in the reverse, one upright. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So you guys got the high priestess reverse. So feeling like you can't find your way out of the current circumstances. Um, this is one of the most clothed characters drawings in these cards number two so needing to make decisions duality partnerships as above so below um decisions 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 then we've got king of wands up right so what i'm feeling with this card is a lot of like divine masculine very fiery energy taking charge but these two characters are kind of like they're not beige they're kind of blue and it's almost the color on these cards that I associate with, like, people dying. You see, the divine feminine has been stifled. So in this ending is a chance for you guys to give your divine feminine some rebirth. And that's probably why I spoke to you about Bloodstone, which has to do with reconciling when it comes to issues related to your mother. I spoke about Black Moonstone, which is a very feminine kind of stone. Then I spoke, sorry, and then I spoke about the Ocean Heart Jasper. Again, very heart energy, feminine energy. Um, you guys are needing to bring in a sort of feminine energy. So let me see if nature can help you because we are currently in summertime. And the living's easy. So maybe some feminine energy from nature could help you. Is there any guidance for my fire signs regarding how to get back in touch with their feminine energy? Um, yeah, beautiful. So you guys definitely need to spend some time outside in nature. And that's going to get you out of this fog, this mental fog that you're in. Um, hmm. because first you got cave sanctuary. So you guys have definitely been dealing with darker energies, your darker thoughts. And you've been just kind of like reflecting on that being there. That's not bad. But then outside there is light and there are trees that are, can help you ground. So literally hugging trees, sitting near trees, drawing trees, meditating on trees, listening to the sound of trees outside. That could be something very helpful to you for a month leading um, past whenever you watch this video. And lastly, I'm seeing that your fog is getting in the way of you seeing how this entire year is allowing for a rebirth. That's what I'm seeing. Everything that's happened this year is going to allow for a rebirth. So get outside, get in nature. Um, you've done the dark shadow work. You've done the being really harsh with yourself and seeing all aspects of yourself and being critical with yourself and now you're definitely you know you're almost like in the stage of like you guys fire signs i'm seeing you guys as kind of like burnt out ooh, burnt up i was gonna say so the red boots kind of like burning and you guys need to be reborn but it's gonna be outside you see they're in a yellow cloak 
your fog card shows the sun coming out so it's going to be outside rebirth is going to happen outside you guys need to take advantage this summer of going outside and recharging yourselves that is it for my fire signs get outside go recharge and recognize how unfortunate or unpleasant circumstances in the moment or in the past are actually allowing for your rebirth. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful to you, then please do like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below telling me what helped or didn't. And I look forward to bringing you more guidance down the line. If you want to book a reading with me, you can do so, as said, by DM or by email through my platforms or through my channels, through my accounts. Divinely Danica on Instagram and Facebook and you can also purchase readings as well as holistic healing sets and other services on www.bgems.ca i hope i do see you become a member of the moonwood.co platform and lots of light and love to you until next time be well